I forgot. Tomorrow's the opening night of the opera. It's Pagliacci. One of Patrick's favorites. I'm sorry he's gone. Thank you, Daniel. My only consolation is that your father won't be there. I'm sorry Emily will, though. Well, maybe not, because that was taken yesterday. It was my assumption that Aiden had left town after I kicked him out of the house. Well, I'm glad he stuck around, because I finally have my ticket out of this marriage. I'm just waiting for her to get home. You know, that's the first smile I've seen on you in a while. May I ask you a favor? Please give me a front row seat when you tell her. Marta, you're requested in the study, Mrs. Grayson. I'm glad to see you finally came to your senses and hired the staff back. Now that you're leaving, I figured it was time. Excuse me? We're getting a divorce. As a sign of good faith, I've accessed family funds to make you an offer that should last several decades. Since I know how much you covet our lifestyle. It's far more than you deserve, but... Small price to pay to get you out. Yes, but according to the legal definition of adultery, this doesn't prove a thing. Well, we'll see about that when we haul you into court. I can't believe this. I forgave Daniel for so much. He shot me on a night that should have been a dream come true and forced me into blaming Lydia Davis. I did it all for Daniel. After everything we've been through, all of the anguish, who could blame me for finding comfort in the arms of someone else? <sighs> Consider that a preview to my testimony. I'll see you at the opera tomorrow, Daniel. You too, Victoria. Let her go. She's trying to goad you. I want her out. 